May God have mercy on us all. The new Sonic the Hedgehog film trailer. I should say the first proper one is out and now I'm reacting to it. This is the first time I've seen any of it. So we're, we can all die together. Help us. So look, they put rings around the Paramount logo so you know it is Sonic the Hedgehog. And oh, it, fuck, it's an Evil Dead remake. Oh wait, no, that was just Sonic. Oh, and there's his horrible hands and horrible legs. Blah! No, don't stretch. Don't make it worse. So fast. Stretching compounds the issue. Two-eyed. He's supposed to be cycloptic with two pupils. I'm not going to get into what he should be, but I am disturbed by what he is. Is that gangster's paradise? Let me just turn up the headphones a little bit. That's... Oh, Jesus, why? And there's... Allegedly, Dr. Robotnik. Hang on. I'm in charge. Oh, he's being all Jim Carrey. In a Very Jim Carrey. Based on level of critical importance, the disparity between us is too vast to quantify. Agent Stone, the doctor thinks you're basic. That's the most Jim Carrey Jim Carrey's been in oof, about 10 years. It looks like he'll be mildly amusing. But so far, it's not quite filled me with the same joy that uh, Detective Pikachu's trailers have. The Pokemon in Detective Pikachu look cute and endearing. That looks like it's gonna eat your balls. I don't want Sonic to eat my balls, but I feel like if I shared a car with that, it wouldn't be long before it just turned around and looked at me and went, hey, hey, let me eat them balls. So that's something I worry about now on a daily basis. Why is his hair electrical? That's a new thing. I mean, the trailer is less than three minutes long. And I think, I, I don't know what else to say. Oh, he's wearing a red top like in the games. You see that? That's good, isn't it? Hmm. I, I mean, it looks, it, it looks like it'll, it'll please a boardroom of marketing executives. Why do they have to redesign Sonic? Like, the old original design for Sonic is very, very, very successful for a reason. Hollywood doesn't always know better. Why does Hollywood think it knows better? All oh, right, there we go. You gotta have that in films where like for a scene or near the end, they look like the counterpart from the licensed property, but only for a bit because they paid for that actor's face and by God, they're gonna get as much out of that actor's face as possible. That's why in all the Marvel films, they spend most of the time actually out of the suits that the characters are famous for because you know they paid for Robert Downey Jr. You better sure as hell not forget that it's Robert Downey Jr. Let's keep having a camera inside the Iron Man helmet so we can see that beautiful, expensive face. Anyway, that doesn't look all that great. Like Jim Carrey's doing his Jim Carrey mugging, which as I say, sh sh might be mildly amusing. Um, maybe the film will be good, I don't know. I'm a Sonic the Hedgehog fan. I am wearing a blue t-shirt right now. I mean, it's not a Sonic the Hedgehog t-shirt. Don't get me wrong, I won't be caught fucking dead wearing one of those. But, uh, you know, I like the old Sonic, the, 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 the hedgehog. I think that's what, what it is. It goes fast, doesn't it? So yeah, I am neither surprised nor amused by that trailer, really. Um, as I said, it, it looks like something that was designed to make marketers happy. Um, something that was maybe focus tested. Uh, it's it's a typical looking Hollywood thing. I mean, obviously I'm gonna watch it. I do a podcast where I talk about video game movies, so I'm gonna have to watch it. But I mean, it, it's, it's gonna be hard to ca care about this, to give a shit about this, when Detective Pikachu has everything that Detective Pikachu's got going for it. I don't know, is this what the kids want now? Is this gonna be the hot new toy at Christmas? A parent's gonna be fighting in store aisles over a Sonic the Manhog doll? Because, I mean, that's what it is, it's a manhog. Um, is that what kids want now? Is that the new Teletubby doll? The new Cabbage Patch Kids? The new, I don't know what the equivalent for modern day is, uh, Hatchkins? Or whatever they are? Is that this? 
kids around the world are gonna be like, Mummy, Mummy, buy me a Sonic the Manhog. I mean, obviously everyone's been making jokes since the outline of the movie Sonic was revealed about how disturbing and alarming it is, but I'm not joking, it genuinely makes me feel queasy. It looks like some sort of sick freak. <laughs> it does. It looks like a fucking, it looks like a monster. It's a little horrible elongated monster. But clearly some Hollywood executives have decided that's what we want. That is what the kids are clamoring for. The kind of thing you could credibly expect to sneak into your house at night, clamber up to your bedroom while you're sleeping, get on the bed on all fours, over your body while you're asleep, wake you up, lean in to about an inch away from your face and just whisper, let me smell your breath. I know, maybe it's me, maybe I'm out of touch. Maybe this is genuinely what children want these days. Maybe this is the mascot of their dreams. I fucking hope not, because the last thing I need to see on store shelves are dolls of the manhog. But I know I'm gonna end up seeing that. I'm gonna go to Target one day, I'm gonna glance across to the toy aisle because I'm a giant child and I wanna at least look at the action figures and then I'll see Sonic the Manhog staring at me through blistered plastic. And then knowing what I'm like, I will buy one for a joke so I can post it on Instagram and then put it in a Gymquisition video or something. But I won't have thought of the consequences, the fact that I will then have one of those in the house sat on a shelf staring at me to remind me of death. Still, do you remember when that person in the trailer said the other guy was basic? 